Thanks for checking out this book review video. Um, yeah, so I'm changing pace. I know my last two ones were about Clive Barker. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to adjust my sitting. Um, I know my last two ones were about Clive Barker. I'm not going to continue on the Clive Barker train. We're going to get into something different. So uh, this one is an author who I've been reading a good amount lately. What I can get my hands on of his stuff, I've really been getting into it. And it all started here with Josh Mallerman's Bird Box. Okay, so I know what people are thinking. They're thinking, oh, you heard about the movie coming out or you saw the movie and then we're like, oh, I'm going to read this. Incorrect. Actually, I've owned this book for a few years now and uh, it's it was a situation where I read about this in Rue Morgue, which if Rue Morgue Magazine, uh, I did a review on Rue Morgue, Rue Morgue Magazine. Go back and check that out. I love that magazine. Uh, I kind of break down all the good and bad about it, which there isn't much bad, but a lot of good. Um, but anyway, I, I read a review of Bird Box in, um, I'll give you a closer up look at it, but I read a review of it in Rue Morgue and it sounded really interesting to me. I'm like, wow, that sounds cool. So I was like, I don't know who this Josh Mallerman guy is, but I'm going to try this book out. And it's not a huge book. It's um, 200, oh no, that's just the acknowledgments. Uh, 260 pages, so really manageable. It's it's not like crazy long, and it feels compact. The story is very well packed together. There's not a whole lot of fluff. It really moves quite well. The characters are really good. Like as much as they need to be to be developed, they are developed to that to that length. Um, Josh Mallerman's writing, I really dig his writing style. It's I don't want to say kind of minimalist, but I say that in the sense that he doesn't over explain things. He doesn't over describe the environment and stuff like that. He's more ambiguous with, with like who the person is he's talking about, not giving too many identifying factors of that person. It, he kind of leaves it a lot up to your own imagination, but gives you the narrative, gives you the story and the dialogue which I actually really enjoy because there are a lot of authors out there who will like really spell things out for you. Like I said in my last video, like George R. R. Martin just like goes down to a T, like the paint on the walls and the grime on the floor and what exactly those things are like. And you're just like, I don't really need that. Like I can fill that in myself or I, or I just don't want to know that stuff. So he, he's light on that type of stuff, which I like because he leaves a lot open to your personal imagination, which goes a long way to be honest. He, he gives you the story, gives you the characters, gives you the dialogue, and then you fill in the environment to a degree, which is awesome. I love that. So, like I said, his writing's really good. He keeps things moving. Now, the Bird Box thing, I excuse me, I did end up reading this before the Bird Box movie came out on Netflix. Uh, I had it well before. I started reading it. Then I heard that it was going to be a movie on Netflix. And then... Well, after the fact, I saw it. So it, comparison between the two, um, I guess I could do like an entire video of like really breaking down the comparison. But uh, once again, the book is way better. The book is way better. So if you're a person who saw the Bird Box movie and you enjoyed it, read this book because you will extremely enjoy this because it is way better. I'm not going to give any spoilers on this, this story versus the movie story, but I will say one thing that is not really a spoiler. Um, there is no relationship in the book, which is something that bothers me to the nth degree with movies. A lot of the times they'll feel like if there's a female character, they have to have a love interest. There has to be a love interest. It happens with male characters too, but... When it's forced, and it was forced in the movie, it just doesn't make any sense, and I hate it, and it's like, we're just doing this because you feel like you have to do it. It doesn't fit. It's dumb. In the book, it's not there, and it makes sense that it's not there, and I applaud Josh Mallerman for not going down that path when you easily could go down that path, and that's one of the other things about him as a writer, because I've read some of his other stuff. He's a smart writer. What he gives you of the story is what you want, basically. It's the details you want. It's the story you want. It's interesting. It's not, here, let me force this down your throat right now, for the most part. Um, so, yeah, but really super intriguing story, really well done. The fact that it's based on people not being able to see, well, I'll just tell you real quick, the overall. 
there's something crazy that happened. It's kind of like a post-apocalyptic type ordeal, or actually not post, it's during this kind of apocalyptic ordeal happening where people are being turned into kind of homicidal maniacs, and they deduce that it has something to do with something people see, if they see it. So a lot of people are not looking outside. So the book is very much based on no sight, which works perfectly with you reading it, because as a reader, you don't actually have sight. So the fact that the characters don't have sight and things are described to you in their terms, you're just getting like what they hear and what they experience without the use of vision. And that is a really awesome thing to employ with a reader. I love it. And that's actually one of the other reasons that for me, the movie Bird Box didn't work all that well. Because when you take a source material that's about characters who can't see and it's in a reading medium, and then you take it to a visual medium, there's a lot that gets lost there. A lot. In the storytelling, in the story itself, and in the overall ambiance and feel of it. So the book is way better for the actual story. The movie is, I would say the movie's fine. I didn't hate it, but since I had read the book, I hated things about it because the book was so much better. So yeah, but anyway, I would heavily, heavily, heavily recommend this book. It is a very awesome read, especially if you saw Bird Box, the movie, and liked it because this will blow your mind in that case because there's so much extra stuff that they took out of the story that they should have definitely left in in the movie and it would have been awesome. Like there's some legit twists. So if you watch the movie and you're like, well, I'm not going to gain anything by reading the book, think again because there's stuff that wasn't in the movie that is awesome and it are twist things that are in this book. Read it. I'm serious. And Josh Mallerman, nice job, buddy. Uh, also newsworthy, I hear that he is going to be dropping, I think in October of this year, a book that is about the main character, Mallory. I think it's just called Mallory. This was kind of a surprise. He just announced this recently within like the past month. And um, yeah, that should be interesting. I think it's a prequel book, obviously, but I don't know. To me, hopefully it's interesting. I trust his writing. I trust his storytelling. So I trust it'll be good. But when I think from the perspective of what can that story really offer, I don't know. Because it's kind of like Stephen King has said. Uh, every character has a backstory. None of it is interesting. And he's kind of right in that sense. Because when, you're, when you get a story about a character and then you get the backstory after the fact, you've kind of already filled in the blank on how they got to be the way they are. You have high expectations of that. So when someone else gives you that, it usually falls short of your expectations. So, I don't know. Which I think, you know... That type of thing came into play with the last book I reviewed a little bit too. But anyway, uh, yeah, awesome book. Check it out. Thank you for checking out this video. And um, I have another one coming. Uh, just so you know, it is another Josh Mallerman coming up. And uh, yeah, so hit that subscribe for me. Really would appreciate it. Let people know about this if you like it. Um, hit that notification bell so you know whenever I'm putting up a video. Comments, please. Thumbs up would be nice. What books are you reading right now? Are you into Josh Mallerman? Because he's been pumping out books. Like, pumping out books. I'll talk that, about that maybe a little bit more in the next video. But, uh, yeah. Let's talk. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.